guest, former House Speaker Newt Gingrich, Biden's race baiting is not only ironic, it is hypocritical, and it is destroying America. Newt Gingrich is the former Speaker of the House. He is a Fox News contributor, and he joins me now. Newt, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks very much. We see the polls. We see America rejecting the Biden agenda. And yet, what do we hear from the president? Voting bills that must happen or the elections won't be legitimate. Your thoughts? Well, I look, I think they've talked themselves into a dead end. Uh, the, the Biden, Harris, Schumer, Pelosi team, for reasons I don't understand, uh, went out of their way to pick things they can't get done. Uh, they knew that they did not have a Senator Manchin. They didn't have Senator Sinema. They knew they were going to lose the vote in the Senate. Um, <clears throat> they just keep pounding on it. And by the way, these are not very popular bills. I mean, if you ask people, do they want to see more spending to have even more inflation, the answer is overwhelmingly no. If you ask people, do they want to have a bill which would block identifying voters by, by, by identity, uh, the fact is photo IDs are acceptable to about 87 percent of all Americans because they want an honest election, not a rigged election. So, you know, the, but this goes on and on. Biden wants us to worry about the border in Ukraine. The American people are worried about the border with Mexico. Uh, and you, you have a gasoline problem, which is going to get worse. And so Biden is calling on Russia. At the same time he's trying to pressure Putin, he's hoping the Russians will pump more oil, which will give them more money to build their military even stronger. I mean, this stuff makes no sense if you're a normal person. But on the American left, it apparently substitutes for any kind of critical thought. Well, that's what strikes me, Newt, because we see the poll numbers plummeting. We see Americans rejecting their agenda, and yet he's not responding to it at all. It's like he has a tin ear in terms of what's important to the American people. Well, look, I think, you know, big government socialism doesn't work, but the people who believe in it believe in it almost as a secular religion. Now, they can't get off of it. Uh, and so you really end up with people who are as fanatic as the uh, revolutionaries in the French Revolution or the revolutionaries uh, in uh, 1917 in Moscow. And they believe. And, and when you show them the facts, they reject the facts because it threatens their belief system. You know, when, when Trafalgar that came out with a poll this week that the Republicans may be ahead by 5742 uh, in terms of who you're going to vote for for Congress, that would be a landslide that would take you back probably to 1920 to have a Republican Congress that was that strong. And it would mean yeah. probably picking up six or seven seats in the Senate and between 40 and 70 seats in the House. You'd think at that point that the Democratic leadership would get together and say, you know, yeah. this ain't working. Instead, they get together and they start chanting, we got to get this done, even though nobody outside their group wants it. Yeah, I want to talk about that poll that basically said more Americans are choosing Republicans over Democrats. Let's slip in a short break and talk about that and the GOP priorities this year and beyond. Stay with us. Newt Gingrich is here. We'll be right back. Well, welcome back. I am back with former Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich. Newt, you were out with an op-ed recently uh, titled, The Wolves Will Become Sheep. Walk us through that op-ed and what's taking place right now in Washington. Sure. Well, you have both with Attorney General Garland and with this uh, select committee on January 6th, people who've run amok. Uh, they are breaking the rules. They are going after people in a way which is reminiscent of the British uh, monarchy using uh, closed door systems that we outlawed deliberately because we'd seen it. We knew what it was like. Uh, and they're running over people's civil liberties. And what they need to understand is on January 4th next year, uh, you're going to have a Republican majority in the House and a Republican majority in the Senate. And all these people who've been so tough and so mean and so nasty are going to be delivered subpoenas for every document, every conversation, every tweet, every email, uh, because I think it's clear that this, these are people who are literally just running over the law, pursuing innocent people, causing them to spend thousands and thousands of dollars in legal fees for no justification. And it's basically a lynch mob. And unfortunately, the attorney general of the United States has joined that lynch mob and is totally misusing the FBI. And I think when you have a Republican Congress, this is all going to come crashing down and the wolves are going to find out that they're now sheep. And they're the ones who are, in fact, going to, I think, face a real risk of jail uh, for the kind of laws they're breaking.
Well, this is such great analysis. Meanwhile, you see more Americans leaning to the right in the face of all of these policies. Well, look, the Democrats are losing on two fronts. They're losing on a reality front. I mean, every time you go to buy gasoline, you're reminded they're incompetent. And they're yeah. losing on a policy front. Pe people don't want a socialist, left-wing, radical America. So they have a two-front fight. They're going to lose both fronts. And I think it's going to lead to one of the largest uh, tsunamis in American history as they get thrown out. Yeah. All right, Newt, it's great to catch up with you. Please come back soon. Newt Gingrich.